Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about variation of electric potential and electric field with the distance r. This variation of uh, electric field and electric potential I am going to discuss with the help of a graph. Okay, so this graph I am going to draw. This is the graph. So in the y axis, I am going to take electric field and electric potential here it will be what distance clear r r is a distance i am going to take here here the r distance value here for a blue line these values are appear to be this values for electric field and for the red line these values are for electric potential values okay okay clear okay then i am going to explain how this graph came okay so you have a doubt about this how this it will be intersecting why this electric potential came up here here it is little bit like this so you have a, you have to understood how it came like this okay so i am going to explain that okay so what is the formula for electric field the electric field formula e is equal to that is the electric field produced by a point charge q is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital q divided by r square Okay, that means electric field is inversely proportional to square of the distance. How we will draw this graph? This is a graph is a parabola. Okay, this graph is a parabola. So we can see that that, that is due, look like a parabola. This blue line here also this is to be look like a parabola. Okay, next what is the electric potential formula? V is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 Q by R. Okay. Here you can see that electric potential is inversely proportional to distance power 1. Okay, so here also you will get the electric potential graph is a parabola. Here also, here you can see that. Okay, then I am splitting this graph into three parts. Okay, so first case 1, case 1. What I am giving, if the R is equal to 1, if R is equal to 1, what about E value? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by 1 ok then 1 square it will come that is equal to the same q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught will come and for electric potential what you will get if r is equal to 1 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by 1 that is q divided by 4 pi epsilon 1. That means at r is equal distance is equal to 1 electric field and electric potential value is same. Okay. That's why that is to be intersecting here. That is the case 1. Okay. So at the point 1 you can see that this is the point 1 it is to be intersecting. Clear? Okay. Then next if r value is case 2 if the r value is less than 1, if the r value is less than 1, what you will get? Okay, E is equal to what? E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r square. Okay, that means V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r. I am taking the same value, r is to be less than 1, what you will take? If I will take for an example r is equal to 0 0.5 if r is equal to 0 0.5 what you will get here here 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by 0 0.5 that means q divided by 4 0 0.5 that means what you will get e is equal to e is equal to you will get like this e what you will get e equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by 0 0.25 will get because 0 0.5 all square okay clear okay then what about electric potential value 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by 0 0.5 so here which value is greater here which value is here the denominator of electric potential is larger than the denominator of electric field 
for the same distance value what will be electric field is to be electric field is to be less than, than electric potential so we have to say like that so we have to explain that in the graph okay so you see here i will be take this point i will take at this point you can see that in this point i will draw a thing okay so if for this r distance which value is greater electric field value will come this so electric field is to be greater what about electric potential electric potential will be comes here only so here you can see that the same value for if the r is less than than one electric field value is greater electric potential is smaller for the same distance sir okay clear then and we are, i am going to for the third section last section okay in the case 3 case 3 in the case 3 if r is greater than 1 what will be happen e is equal to e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r square okay so that means r is greater than 1 i will take an example r is equal to 2 i will take what about the e value e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by 2 square that is 4 will come okay then then what about the electric potential value v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by 2 will come so here you see which one denominator is higher the electric field denominator is higher so this electric field value is to be smaller okay previously the electric field denominator is smaller so the electric field value is to be larger here electric field electric potential is to be larger here but in the second case the denominator of the uh, denominator of the electric field is to be larger so the electric field value is larger okay in the previous case sorry sorry in the electric field denominator is larger so the electric field value is smaller electric potential is larger okay so in this case electric potential is larger in the previous case which one is to be larger electric field is larger because the denominator is smaller for the electric field okay in the case one electric field is larger in the case two electric potential is larger okay so we have to represent this okay so listen here i'll take this point i'll take this point from this you can see that for a same distance where it is closing here the electric potential is closing here nearly here it is not to be it is to be coming like this okay but that is what about electric field it is little bit smaller value okay so this is a explanation for the graph okay this is the explanation for the graph of the variation of electric field and electric potential versus r okay thank you for watching the video please subscribe my channel if you like this video please put like